What do you do when old energy technology needs to make way for new renewable energy technology like solar and wind? When it's an old coal plant, we bring out the explosives. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's take a look at the problem solving happening behind the scenes. Did you know you can recycle buildings? Before blasting, we take out all useful tools and equipment to be reused at other facilities. There's so many things that come out of a building that can be reused. We even recycle the concrete and bricks. It's the responsible thing to do. This also means there's much less material that could fly out and cause damage on demolition day. Risky areas of the building are covered with fabric and chain link fences to hold in any flying debris. Before blasting, we send out drones to make sure the area is completely evacuated. An implosion plan takes time and calculation. <laughs> That's some serious STEM. Mathematical calculations help us determine how far away people need to be to stay safe. A demolition explosives expert is referred to as a blaster. How cool is that? The blast plan has backups built in just in case something doesn't go as planned. The blasting machine can even be controlled by a computer and started wirelessly from a safe distance. Next up, explosion or implosion. Bringing down a building takes a bit of both. For Alliant Energy, our goal is implosion. The plan isn't to blow stuff up, it's to bring stuff down. We want that old coal plant to fall straight down as close to its original footprint as we can. A series of small controlled explosions make that possible, knocking down the building structure from the inside out. Two common tools of the demolition trade are dynamite and RDX. Dynamite looks like a firecracker, but it's much more powerful. When it's strategically placed and packed tightly into a concrete column, it will disintegrate it, turn it into dust when it goes off. RDX, a form of chemical explosive, cuts through the steel beams holding up the structure. Deciding which, how much, and where to place explosive charges is key to a successful and safe demolition. The charges are set off one after another in millisecond delays, bringing down the building piece by piece. By carefully sequencing the explosions, the demolition team controls which pieces come down first and which direction they fall, using gravity to their advantage. You can actually see the building kneeling down as the explosions are triggered. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's all be blasters! Counting down to implosion in three, two, one! Wow, <laughs> that's the art and science of implosion. At Align Energy, we're knocking down the old and bringing in the new when it comes to advancing clean, renewable energy sources. And science is what gets us there.